Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about all the aspects of my life that are going to be, that have been changing due to the um, fact that I have eye level and my new chair. So, I just want you guys to know that the reason why I'm making this video is because when I first got my eye level, I was literally on YouTube looking for eye level, um, things to do with eye level, and there was literally nothing out there. And, like, it, it was just, like, basically, like, there was no resources, so I'm trying to make resources that I wish I had because it would have been a lot, I think, nicer to know how much of a change was coming my way before. I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, change the fact that I have love because I love makes um, um, a lot of um, dangerous situations a lot more easier such as when you go to the grocery store and you're in the parking lot and cars don't see you. <laughs> um, you can easily use eye level and they do typically see you. Or I would not change the fact that I have eye level and I love my eye level but at the same time I wish I would have known how much of a change was coming my way because it has been a really a very difficult a transition for me. Just so you guys know, this is going to be an ongoing thing for us because this is my first chair that can ever be or that that I have been able to get eye level. So it's going to be an ongoing process and I'm going to take you along for the journey. So it's just going to be an ongoing thing for us and you guys will go um come along for the journey so with that let's get rolling into the video so my first item is my trip chair trip trip chair so this thing is actually a um, thing for it's made in oh God, norway and it's actually made for baby or um, um yeah special needs first and then they figure out a way to have babies or yeah like how to become a high chair but one of my OTs he told us about it the funny thing is we didn't know I remember the first time that I got into one of these and I was so nervous because it has no arms as you can see and that's very important for me uh, uh, okay yeah <laughs> as I and then um so but with confidence and this thing is shaped like a Z as you guys can see and um yeah it helps with posture and I have um, noticed like my organs are not crushed because that's a huge thing they worry about or that's like a side effect of being in a, mo a wheelchair all day every day you're pretty much you're crushing your organs so it's very important that you you get out of your chair and stretch out and this thing has um, I appreciate my wheelchair a lot more, or my trip to chair a lot more, and I see the the health benefits of it. So, yeah, the funny story is we had one we had one years ago, not realizing it can be made from babyhood to adulthood, so we got rid of it. And, and, um, yeah, 
So, I'm gonna go ahead to 15 years later, get a new one, and um, and I wish I didn't have to go through the adjustment period, but it is what it is, and then yeah. So this one, this thing is really cool. Also, we got this belt. Amazon. Oh, I also got my trip trip here from Amazon. This is not sponsored, but um, that's where I got it. And um, there's buckles that come with your trip trip trip, or not come with um, or the one we got. I just wanted one that goes um that I can strip to and. Or that goes on my way similar to my wheelchair one. And then um it strips on the back. Strips on the back in the back. Anyway, moving right along. So my second item is a front rest. So it's technically made for somebody that works at their desk for a very long time. Um, like at home, and but my dad at first with the trajectory, I was very um nervous because it's been like I said in the previous like, 15 years since I um used one, forgot it, uh, or I didn't have the confidence that I do now, and I know I'm secure as far so. But this is for um when I'm I couldn't get uh, at first because I didn't relax all the way I needed a foot rest but now that I I might still use it depending on if I feel like I need it but yeah we got a foot rest for it and this is super soft and it has a non the non slip stuff on the bottom. If you guys can see, yeah, little groupies. So that it can uh, grip onto the floor. But I need an extra one or little extra things so that it wouldn't slide because I use my feet and to talk and arch, which is a CP thing. And so we put extra grippy on the floor. And then, so it would stay in place. Oh, and this is also from Amazon. A lot of these products are just going to be from Amazon because it's a lot easier for us to, like, ship. With that being said, let's move on to our next item. Okay, so the next item is a transfer board. Um, we're trying to figure out the best way to transfer me now with the eye level being four inches off the ground. It's okay, so guys, the transfer board is not a for sure thing. We're just trying to figure out how to best transfer, transfer me without anybody getting injured. So, if you get uh, my next one is the kitchen table so if you guys are interested in getting eye level just know that um if you have a wooden table and i'll pop up a picture of ours right next yeah. next to me um and just so you know with the eye level it is four inches off the ground so you will be um if you have a wooden table there's like a little skirt that's going to be in your room like to hold up the table to be full, to be fully um independent or to be fully under the table so that's just a warning feature so that's why we got the trip to try to come Upon that bad thing, but I we do have now have risers on it 
just so that I can, I do have the option to either use both or to use my filter slash my interpreter. If you guys haven't seen my van video, or I will put it in the cards up above, up above my little head. Um, so my car is a sign entry car, which means um, I sit on like, you have the option of taking out the driver's side or the passenger side. I sit on the passenger side because I can't drive, obviously. I mean, I can drive my wheelchair, but um, I don't have my license. That's for unfortunately. Um, so I sit on the passenger side. With that being said, the seats come in, can't come in and out, and I am very fortunate. And as far as uh, I do have a lock-in system, so we don't have to like shut me down with the um. But it doesn't, we don't have to strip down my wheelchair. I just get to lock in like, um, because there's like a little bolt, or a little, um, bolt on me. Or bolt, I say on me, on my wheelchair. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more, um, a lot easier, especially during the winter. It is so, um, much easier. Now, in my last van, I had the easy lock. This van, I have the Q lock, or the Q strings lock and system. Now, the reason why I went with something different this go around was, one, it is, they like crash tested it, just in case we were to get into like an accident. Um, and it's like more safe for sitting up in the front because I am more at risk for obviously somebody to hit me or not hit me. But if we were to ever get an exit, I'm more I'm at high, I'm at I'm in a higher risk of getting hurt and um, flipping. Yeah, I'm getting hurt. I'll just say that. Anyway, so and the key, and the key lock system that I have now is um it's it saves more energy and um especially because I'm not in the car every day when I'm not in it, so it saves a lot more energy and also it's a lot more smaller and compact. One of the reasons why I um, got this one too and I'm, a, I'm able to unlock my own lock-in system for um, so this way I can unlock myself. So I am able to unlock myself with just this keychain and it was gone for like the first year. We just found it recently. So like the first year of my life and the first year of having the man, we could not find this for the life of me or for the life of us and we thought we threw it away. But it was literally in like a little, in our little chest area. So luckily we found it and um, it's Bluetooth and I, we love it. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video and remember to keep on rolling and uh, yes and if you guys have any comments, questions, um, leave them in the comments. I do see them. I do. Um, yeah, so you have any questions that I did not answer or more more specific to you or your situation let me know and i will see you in my next video bye